Hey guys, uh, that's enough of Dante Darkblade. He's an awesome guy, but the show has to go on. Okay, so I have my giant meats, and it costs 500 bits to buy them. To buy more. Okay, one thing I'm going to do real quick is head to the gym. And I've made a list of places where I can go to now that I have Metal Greymon. Uh, I can get greater access to a mansion down by the Great Canyon. Uh, I'm thinking about going back to Ogremon's hideout just to see if there's anything left uh, to, to pick up. Where do I want to go? All right, now we can go off to wherever we wish. First stop will be in the area of the Great Canyon. But to get there, I have to go through the tropical jungle. I should stock up on items first. Yeah, the best thing you can do when you have a lot of bits, I mean, I have 6,000 bits, the best thing you can do is always prepare yourself by getting items that will come in handy. Items that that you can play the long game with. You don't need to use them right away. Just make sure that you have some... Make sure you have things... I'll, I'll show you an example. Let's do large recovery. Maybe I should have done super recovery. Let's see, what you want? Uh, these three items are useful during battle only. This one helps get rid of poison. It helps get rid of status ailments. Okay, so this looks good to me. I have an autopilot, so I should be fine. And where is he? Oh yes, he's right here. Okay, let's get on with the show. So I'm going to start by going to Bergermon, and since I have the extra money, I can spend on I can spend the bits on travel. Let's see, Gear Savannah or Great Canyon? I'm not ready for the Great Canyon yet. Because there is one side stop I want to make on my way there. And we're going back to a familiar location. Oh, that's right, I have access to the ancient dino region. I forgot about that. I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. I want to go to the Digimon Bridge, but I also want to see if... Never mind. That event is not available yet. Let's see. You know, my memory is coming back more and more as I play this game. And I'm glad I don't remember everything, because if I did, I couldn't be reintroduced to all of this over again. I mean, sometimes it's nice not to remember every detail, ah, every detail of an, of an established game. Which way do I go? I believe it's up here, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know what direction I'm going in. I mean, th there's no uh, compass for me here. The exit should be here. Yeah, 
Here we are. The item you have to use to awaken the Digimon inside the ground is actually the rain plant. Ah, the original Vegemon. Hmm, this guy is not exactly a solidified decision maker. Okay, now he's made a decision. That's good. If you guys want a heads up about recruiting Vegemon to the city, he's going to replace Palmon the way Palmon replaced Tanamon when it comes to giving meat away. Let's see where we can go. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I want to look ahead. Um, I don't want to get distracted. Let's see. Ugh. It's what I get for controlling this game using a stick rather than the pad. And even then, it, uh, like I told uh, Dante Darkblade, the game doesn't really feel right with the, with the D-pad. At least the Xbox version. Okay. Come on, Metal Greymon, you can do it. This might take a short time. Okay, we've got this in the bag. This was totally unnecessary. But we're past it now. Northwest Freeze Land. Okay, I'm gonna try to avoid the cold Digimon. I don't know if Metal Greymon responds well to the temperatures of this environment. Oh, never mind, he responds well. Okay, let's cross this bridge. Yeah, there's a little bit of. You can't see it when you cross into Freeze Land, but there's a second bridge that takes you to the Great Canyon. Uh, machinery noises. I did many things. It could be the elevator. I go back to the hideout and check. Okay, so this area appears to have platforms that seem to be controlled by the use of Ogreman's elevator, judging from the context of the comments. Maybe I should have stocked up on some MP-related items. Come on.
Yeah, I should have brought some MP items. Is my Metal Greymon stuck? I was about to say, he keeps moving, but... Uh, like, his moving animation is there. But he's not going anywhere. Alright, let's see what we can do. I believe we'll have to take the the elevator into the Ogremon Fortress, and then we'll have to go back all the way. We'll have to go back and uh, basically back to the original exit of the Ogremon Fortress, where the Agumon was guarding it. Basically, this is the end of the fortress. We have to go back to the beginning, and we'll probably find ourselves in a better position to talk to the the strange Digimon we don't really seem to know. Oh, okay, yeah, I knew it. The door is open here. Hopefully one of these will be a defense chip. Well, that wasn't what I was counting on. One of these, I hope, will be an MP... What was it? Super offense disc. Offense chip. Well, we can come back for these. Yeah. They won't be that missed if I forget them or avoid them until later. Thank God that I brought that porta potty. Really, this goes to show that investing your time in items that that you will need on the spot eventually uh, that was time well spent stocking up. Ugh, I hate getting into fights with these Digimon. Like, there's no point battling them. It's like I try to avoid them. They keep coming back. One more. Okay. What'd he drop? Various. Okay, that's good. I can pick that up. And being able to carry 10 items is not enough for me. Let's see. Let's see if I can avoid this one. Okay. And now we have to go back to see him, assuming he's there. Assuming we can actually interact with him. I have to be careful though, because I didn't bring any MP recovery items. There he is! Shellmon. I was headed toward your city to put my talent to good use. He's a know-it-all. Oh, it's a she. I like how the genders are reversed in this game. 
Well, I believe that's all I can do for now. I guess I can go back to the city. Next, I'm going to stock up on MP-related items. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should just go to the item keeper and put away the chips. Because you never know when those chips will cut your time short uh, up in terms of your training. You see, if you use those boot stat... If you use those chips, we'll call them boost chips, um, they will cut the time that you need to develop your Digimon short. They won't cut your Digimon's lifespan short. What I'm trying to say is uh, that your Digimon will be better off. It's a basically work smarter, not work harder type of strategy. Anything else I can? I guess, suppose I could put this back. Giant me. Ah, it's alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Centaurumon and rest. Sometimes I'm lucky if I can get at least one trip or two trips to the Great Canyon or anywhere else and recruit Digimon along the way. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to ask in the comments section. Yeah, my Digimon seems to be a bit tired. You guys might notice I don't really talk a lot during some of the gameplay. I want you to see the gameplay as it is in action, without my commentary to a degree. Let's see, medium MP. All right. I'm gonna talk to Gigimon and see what I can find. Actually, yeah, Shellmon's in the city now, so we can speak to her. She should be down here. Special bulletin board. Ah, so Shellmon's a newsman. Newsgirl. A guardian at the lake. I mean, you guys can pause and read this. You know, I'll read one of them. A guardian for the lake. Lake guardian is a dra the dragon eye lake. The Digimon-like creature was called by someone. Can this guardian make wishes come true? Forward. Newspaper four. How far can we go? Oh, it goes up to four articles. Whoop. Okay. Now I can get on with my day. Expand the meat fields. Bu bulletin boards. Elecmon. Wow, Gigimon has a lot to say. 21. Okay. We should be good to go now. Uh, I think I know what's next. I knew it. He found us. I'm gonna start the fight in the next video. See you guys next time. There is no street sign. <laughs>